Hello and welcome to the Craft Papa Show. In this episode we'll be making a Raphael statue and we'll be taking a mold, making a mold of this. I'd just like to take a minute and thank the Craftsman for inspiring me to make a show about crafting. The Craftsman videos really helped me learn how to do everything. I really suggest you uh, head on over to his channel and check him out. I really don't care too much about what his next video is about. Every one of them is very entertaining. I've probably watched his entire playlist twice. But anyways, let's get this thing going. This is uh, not an original Ninja Turtle, but it was a remake by Playmates. I think. Unless it's some kind of bootleg. I bought this at Big Lots or... McFrugal's, as it used to be called, it was only $1.99, I bought all four, I could only find one. I've had it for a while. The rats, or Splinter found it. <laughs> so I'm not too uh, beat up about taking it out of the package, it's already halfway come out on its own. Anyways, here we go. Raphael. His arms are rest. They've been up for about 10 years, maybe. So it looks like his legs either shrunk over time, or maybe this is a bootleg. When we make the mold, the holes for the belt aren't going to really uh, come out. So I think if we just, uh, I think if we just put the size in the belt, that would probably be the best. Every pore, every mold doesn't usually come out exactly as you thought it would. Cleaned up here a little bit. And that, I don't know what you guys called this in school. When I went to school in the 80s, we always called this the pizza cutter. Boy, I'm thinking that is a bootleg. Look at that. Alright, and we're ready to start the mold process. Now the mold stuff I use is called Composi Mold. Um, they come in these little chunks like this. And I love it because it's reusable. Uh, when I started doing this resin and stuff, I was buying the latex. But it's a one-time use. And again, you don't know how the mold's going to turn out. so. To cast that, you could be looking at $25 to $50 just for the mold. And if you only want one, you know, this is perfect. Um, you can get multiple casts out of them, though. But they do get a little weird after a while. The uh, resin starts heating it up. It's called a thermoplastic. All right, so what I do is stick it in the microwave. This here is what it looks like after it's been used a few times. You get little chunks of stuff in it, little bits of resin. Um, There's that little flower from our tree. Uh, I cut it up into little bricks like that and then stick it in the microwave, which I've got. Which I got the microwave right here. That's our microwave. That's our cup here. I got, uh, there's a couple of, about three, two minutes. See, it's starting to get a little molten. But you want to go a little bit more. Never use this microwave for food. So we'll get that heated up a little bit more while we're building the outer frame of the mold. So it doesn't matter too much what you use to make the frame. I've found plexiglass works the best, but it is kind of pricey. This is some packaging material. Let's see, we don't want that. We want it nice and flat. So maybe this, we'll start with this corner here. Stick him on here. Oop. We are blessed with a beautiful day today. Today is the 4th of July. This video is not for kids. Do not try this at home. I mean, you can do it at home if your parents say you can. 
but uh, you definitely need some supervision. See, that elbow is going to be a hole. There we go. Hello. Perfect. There we go. Very nice. Okay, all the weapons are in good. And we'll stick this right over the front. The outer mold. we're ready. The other one too is uh, we use the hot glue on the feet so sometimes uh, that'll melt and they'll fall over or they'll float to the top and that is not a good day so you can tell he's kind of he's not in there that good. But you kind of do want to mix it around a little bit. Oh now look at that. Looks like we can get both in there. Alright, when the thermoplastic starts boiling, you know it's ready. See, it looks like it's done, but then there's kind of these chunks in there. The chunks will pour out. I'd say that's probably good. Oh, 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 oh. Oh no, look at that. We just need a little bit more. Maybe a lot more. Those bubbles don't stop. They're beautiful when they're new. Reusable. It's good for the environment and okay for you. Take a couple of these. Always have coffee. Okay, that's a minute and a half. That's gonna go right there. All right. Well, we'll pick this up after we take it out of the freezer. Hello. Now we're back from the freezer. It's a little thicker than it was before. Freezer does make it a little bit harder to cut. Remember, kids, don't try this at home. I also want to have a good idea on where to cut. Okay, so we start with the foot here. No pun intended. So you cut down on one side. When you get to the leg, cut across and down the other leg. Okay. Here's his pizza cutter. Mold it in place. Now if we were to cast it, oops, if we were to cast it and leave it in there, uh, you'd have a perfectly brown uh, pizza cutter inside of your crystal clear turtle or however you're going to make it. There we go. Once you start freeing limbs, it goes pretty fast. Come on. There we go. Got the belt off. Ooh, and this part. This is what all the size looked like back in the day. <laughs> Demold complete. Here's the cavity. Now it's time for resin. Right, today I believe we're going green. The thin one first, because I like it. Oops. When it's going in there, I try to make the thick one go right in the middle. You stir it up real fast, you get a lot of bubbles. If it's a real hot day out, you want to get on it and start pouring, but today has been glorious. I usually go with about 10 drops a die. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. The one arm bent down might not have any resin in it. Resin is kind of pricey, so anytime I have any leftovers, I use it. This is a Star Wars Death Star Ice Cube Maker. It's about two or three bucks on eBay. 
works good for ice cubes, but I think it works better for resin. So every time I got any leftovers, it goes in here. And resin sticks to itself, so as long as it's clean, the next time we make something, it'll stick right on top of this one. We'll see you when it's dry. So here is the Raphael mold. And listen to this. That means your resin is done. See how clear and shiny when we demold it. You don't. Oh, we didn't get the hand. <laughs> Do, 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 do. Looks like we got part of this side, part of that side. Pizza cutter didn't come out. Let's see if we can clean them up a little bit. You could also, uh, you know, paint the armbands if you wanted to and the uh, eyes and stuff, give it a little paint, kind of nice. Anyways, thank you so much for watching, I appreciate it. Please give us a like if you can. Thank you, have a great day. Bye-bye.